Um, I was going to ask if it was one of them was the shirt that you were wearing, because I would buy that Christmas ornament right now. No. A Pabst Blue Ribbon John Cena t-shirt Christmas ornament. Is that's like, worth it. That's like four layers deep of nonsense. Although they do have tables, ladders, and chairs. Of course they do. This page elf ornament is on the verge of being a collector's item, though. I think that's the that's the. <laughs> Although they do here. have tables, I have it's only five bucks. Yeah. Great. Del Rio took someone's mask off today, I guess, and then got beat up backstage. What the shit? What? what is he doing? Just no respect. I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. Ooh, our gift to you: new items added to clearance. Wow, the Budios Christmas shirt is already on clearance. By the way, well, if yeah. Someone wants it. It's twelve dollars. I, I do. I know it looks so cool. It says "Ho Ho Budios." They make sure your holiday ain't booty. <laughs> so they they do have like the redesigned PBR shirt as a blanket. For thirty bucks, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's booty ho ho o's. Ho ho <laughs> o's. Okay. Smith. Oh, also for only thirty five dollars, you can get a framed plaque of Naomi defeating Alexa Bliss at No Mercy. Done. Yeah, Done. absolutely, one hundred percent in. Like this is Should how you? we start off every show is looking what's in the clearance. That's what I do anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's tradition now. It really is. I see. What's a teeny meat? Ooh, a bootio ornament with. Oh man, this is like three ornaments in one. This is nice. I mean, it's three separate ornaments, but yeah. Hmm. Also, who wants a black Santa hat? This is awful. Who is buying these? I don't know. The booty of the New Day one is the only one that's even remotely passable. Yeah, that one's real good. Man, that oh, that table ladder is in chair set. Huh. Also, <laughs> though the NWO ball ornament is like surprisingly <laughs> very tempting. Like really like only ten dollars i know it's only ten dollars and i get it's a bunch $10. of other ornaments i don't actually want well you I get guess a rock ornament the skull one is pretty cool skull one yeah stone cold's all right and then like Stain. i don't know if you want the undertaker on your tree but that's like yeah there. i don't know i actually don't want a christmas ornament that says death valley on it <laughs> I, I mean i don't know a lot about christmas trees but i'm pretty sure death is not a part of it <laughs> Probably don't want the Ultimate Warrior on there either. Mm. He'll botch your Christmas. That's right. Wow. Although I, the Dudley Boys eyeglasses, I want those as a as a ornament. Actually, <laughs> well, the the Paul Heyman CM Punk shirt is down to twelve dollars. How is that still twelve dollars? Oh my god! How is that still on their store? <laughs> These are all good questions. I don't. Yeah. Hey, twenty five dollars for a Sami Zayn pullover hoodie. That's tempting. Hmm. And a WrestleMania. Although it's red, they might need to make a blue one. Yeah. But not really. Not really. That's not happening. It seems all the gold dust stuff is finally, or uh, Stardust stuff is finally gone off of here. I love his new nickname. What's his new nickname? The American Nightmare. Yeah. That's what they call him in Japan? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. That's oh, a weird nickname. Wasn't that briefly Goldust's nickname in WCW? Probably. Probably. Was it? I mean, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. I have no idea. All right. Well, whatever. I'm going to start this podcast, I guess. Let me pull up the uh, roadblock. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. What's up? I think it was. Yep, the American Nightmare, Dustin Rhodes. There you go. Hmm. So wait for WWE to sue. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just the the American Nightmare, Cody. 
Right, yeah. Oh, that's right. But it's because they own WCW, don't they own the American Nightmare? Maybe. Did they? I don't know. I don't know how that works. They might not have a patent on it. Or a they, I definitely know they own the they own the American Badass. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh, wow, this like, holy shit. This, uh, like, dis- like background description for this Roadblock pay-per-view is way longer than it should have should be. Like, Jesus. Why does it need all these paragraphs? Also, I like that it links back... Like, it says background for Roadblock End of the Line. See also the professional wrestling article. <laughs> In case you didn't realize... Also, professional. Wrestling. It all started back in 1902. <laughs> That's what led us to here to two roadblock pay per views in one year. All right, never mind. Let's start this up. Welcome to Suplex Friends, where stream friends talk pro wrestling. My name is Dylan Hecht. My internet came back on just in time to bring you awesome wrestling commentary and breakdowns of a pay per view no one here is excited for. <laughs> Uh, I'm joined by uh, Art right. Tebel. Hey, hi. I'm on Twitter, A Tebel. That's right. Check it out. <laughs> check, check it out for all the hot scoops. <laughs> and we're also joined by John Carson, representing the New Day over here. Hey, which 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 member of the New Day am I? Which one, which one? Uh, am I like the box of cereal? Yeah, you are. You're actually the Vegeta. Uh, like hair thing. Okay. Yes, that's, that's yes. You. You're right. Vegeta I'll take hair. That. I will take that. <laughs> what is that sweater you're wearing? It's it's a lemon grab sweater what? from Adventure Time. Okay. I don't, yeah. I don't... It's good. It's All warm. Right. So, gentlemen, we're on the cusp of yet another pay per view. I didn't actually believe this oh. one was this weekend. I believe... you didn't either, Art. <laughs> I I scheduled a party opposite it. I've been at people at my house. I'm not gonna be able to watch it at all. I mean, not at all, but you know, ever not ever. on the day. It's Strike it from history. Or can't watch it. Just yeah. If CM mean, is back, it's gonna be totally spoiled for me by the time I get to it. It's yeah. I wouldn't expect anything like that. Pro- probably. Probably. You don't think CM Punk's just been waiting for a B pay per view? Yeah, <laughs> he's not. He said, "You know what I really want to show up for is the second Roadblock pay per view of 2016." <laughs> Did you see the tweet today about like him ruining John Cena's comeback in Chicago? No. Like some someone tweeted at CM Punk, and he's like, "Duh, that's of course that's when I'd come back." <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Is that when Cena is coming back on SmackDown then? Is that it's be uh, Chicago? Chicago, like the 27th or 28th. Perfect timing. Yeah, I saw it was... Just time to be mad he didn't win a Slammy. <laughs> Are they doing those this year? It's like almost the end. That was my know. question. Usually the last one. Is it? Okay. I mean, I, wonder if, I guess they'll do it on Raw? Do they have two sets of Slammies? Do they have red and blue Slammies this year? I was wondering who drafted the Slammies. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they who can... won Star of the Year last year? Isn't whoever that is? Roman, isn't it Roman? It's uh, no, it was. It was, was that... uh, Seth Rollins. Was it? I was there. Oh, that's right. That's I was there right. for that for those Slammies, and I missed that speech grabbing a beer. That's right. That was a good. That was good. Well, this year it's going to be Roman or mm-hmm. Chris Jericho or Kevin. Oh man, Kevin Owens Kevin winning would be pretty good, actually. Finn I mean, Balor. It, it, it styles, if anyone was paying any attention. Yeah. I'm just assuming that they're going to be on Raw and no one on SmackDown is winning anything. <laughs> That's most my assumption. Uh, yeah, so this, pa- <laughs> this, this pay-per-view, guys. Which one? Uh, Excuse Roadblock, me, why are we here? Roadblock, colon, end of no. the line. I'm, I'm sorry, we had one of these already this year. No, 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 This that one was just roadblock and this one is roadblock colon end of the line so is it like a takeover it's i think the first roadblock was like a takeover because that was only on Ro- the network roadblock so our evolution I get, technically this is the first roadblock pay-per-view the other one was a network special so 
Was this actually on pay per view? I mean, are are any Somewhere. of them anymore? I don't even know. I think so. It's been so long. I assume. Uh, here we go. This will be the second event under the Roadblock chronology, but will be the first <laughs> event also shown on pay per view. So it is of the Roadblock canon. <laughs> it's like um, the Watchdogs two to uh, to Roadblocks. Uh, Love that Roadblock booster set. That's right. It's so <laughs> glad that they came back to it. Roadblock colon Brotherhood. <laughs> Yeah, w- WWE pay per views. You can still order it on Comcast. How much does it cost? How much? Uh, it's probably cost? fifty-five. Or it's forty-five bucks. Forty-five dollars. Wow. wow! Imagine paying. For, who's paying forty-five dollars for this mess? This trash fire of a pay per view. <laughs> All right, well, there's in really strong wrestling towns. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, bad pay per view. Uh, so have you guys been watching Raw at all? I watched kind of. this past Raw because I figured, oh, it's the go-home show. It'll get me caught up on everything. Mm-hmm. And they, like, barely mentioned that there was a pay-per-view at all. And they, uh, <laughs> the, the part that I saw, they actually mentioned a couple things, but... There was, there was a couple bits. There was some in-and-out parts. Um, I just found that they made one of these matches on Tribute for the Troops tonight, so... We were just mm-hmm. talking about that off-air That's that now actually, yeah... I think it's the first time they've actually done that in quite a while. Has made that thing matter. <laughs> hey, Dylan, know. that's a little bit disrespectful to our troops. <laughs> it's, I think WWE. They, uh, they put, need a, a wrestle show for them. I believe last year's tribute to the troops had Rusev beating Jack Swagger dressed up as Uncle Sam. So really, who's doing the insulting first? Not me. <laughs> got a chill reunion this year. They had a they had a full on. Shield reunion at, at this year's three troops, oh, wow. and a club reunion. Yeah, DJ was it? Man, all right. Is this on the network? Do I do. Need, I guess I need to watch this. It's on I USA. Let's say. Oh, so it's not going to be on the network for a while then. <laughs> and I think you could probably just get by with watching these clips I'm talking about on the internet. I think oh. YouTube mm-hmm. is what you need for this. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's break down this pay per view, including the Please. newly added match. Let's start. Let's start with my man Rusev. Yeah, on the pre-show, sure against Big Cass, defending Ooh. the honor of his little buddy Enzo Amore. They they yeah. call him Big Enzo. Big I Enzo. Hear. Big Enzo. What? <laughs> the, <laughs> Colin the Cassidy pre-show match in what seems like forever. Yeah. They've gotten a lot of time on Raw for a pre-show match. They, they did. They were a big focus this of this past week's Raw in that they were like teasing some sort of like pornography video with Lana and Rusev for some reason. And then that turned into them just showing a video of Enzo getting beat up again from last week. Yeah, that is all that that's all what happened. Yeah. That was mm-hmm. weird. Like I don't Why every feud that Rusev has had for like the past year has been about someone wanting to wreck his home life or have sex with his wife. Like, like he has it, to be the biggest face on Raw right now. He should be. Dolph Ziggler he had to fight off him from trying to steal his wife and then like Roman shows up and like ruins his like wedding and cake and all kind of stuff mm-hmm. and then now you got this idiot Enzo showing up like this guy is getting no end of grief. I'd be, let me tell you I would not have a positive outlook on america either <laughs> i sympathize with rusev way more in this situation than big Cass. what is he even mm-hmm. doing there what is big Cass defending he's defending his, his friend, friend trying to steal his, someone's his wife. shitty friend his shitty friend enzo amore should <laughs> he should have a poop emoji on his face instead of his ass well if we're being if we're being completely fair he was <laughs> like entrapped the week before that's true it was kind of like a like he was like, I, I don't want to do this. I want to go, and she like yeah. kept pushing. Was a little, like, uh... although she told him to take off his pants, and then he's like, "All right, just for a minute." <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. Well, just real like, quick. I don't want to be here. This isn't right. I'm but... gonna take off my pants. Wrestling. Yeah, it's some this this is a wrestling ass wrestling storyline for sure. He doesn't even get that down to his skibbies in the ring. 
That was weird this week, and Cass is like, I'm wearing my pants. It's like, no, you're you're not. You you wrestle in trunks. <laughs> you wrestle you're in wearing game. underwear. You're wearing the same thing Enzo was. What the hell? It's weird. It says your name on it. Yeah. Although having Lana spell out crushed in the ring to the, like, Enzo and Cass type of speech was kind of funny. That was a good part of that promo. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this match, though. It'll probably be all right. Big Cass is cool in the ring. And I have not actually watched him wrestle that much. Since he's, I haven't been watching he's, okay. he's, he's a big man. I just like I like big dudes fighting. So I'm okay with this match. I just... I don't like anything else other than that part. <laughs> I think Rusev will carry it a bit. Which yeah. is That's fine. For the ten minutes that, that it'll go on for. Yeah. Or less. Or less. This is going to be a quick match, yeah, because it's a pre-show. So is Enzo, like, out? That's, like, what they're using is the, his storyline out from... Because I know he wasn't on Raw, and they said something about that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up at the end of this match, right? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Comes out from under the ring and drags Rusev to hell. <laughs> That's probably... Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's Brooklyn. Sister Abigail. Brooklyn, same thing. Uh, whatever. I'm so pissed that Rusev is on the pre-show. I'm so mad that Rusev is on the pre-show. I can't even like think right. That's so lame. Whatever. I mean, have you looked at the rest of this card? It is stacked. I guess we'll get to this. I have some complaints about this card. Is this going to be over by like nine thirty? (laughs) God, we got four minutes to run through these matches. Uh, well, let's move on to an actually important match, I guess. A match that actually I'm for once uncertain of the outcome. The longest reigning single run tag team champions, The New Day, versus the winners of the qualifying match at Tribute to the Troops 2016. Two foreign guys. Yeah, Shizaro. Shizaro. <laughs> um, cool, man. I guess I'm really happy that New Day has that has that record. Mm-hmm. Uh, they deserve it. They went it was, through hell to get it too. Absolutely, and like, so these guys they came out to like. Remember when they first came out to like that weird like preacher gimmick? Mm-hmm. That was real weird, and like they all wore white. And it was had piped in cheers, the whole thing. Like it was, it was dire times. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they somehow they actually managed to convince Vince to let them do whatever the heck they wanted. And lo and behold, it actually worked. Who would have thunk that letting a wrestler define a character might actually turn into something <laughs> real good? It turned into them coming out of a giant box of cereal dressed like Dragon Ball Z characters at WrestleMania. How fucking crazy is that? (laughs) Like, what? And they still use that as, like, promotional art for them. Yeah, because it's awesome. It is. is. Yeah, it started with that weird preacher gimmick and then, like, some kind of weird thing where I was just like, this is WWE discovering memes for the first time ever. And... And those it's kind of go. odd. It's odd that they still use the same catchphrases, though, from back then. Like, <laughs> they don't say power like, positivity that much anymore. Sometimes, sometimes, but also, like, they come out to the ring with clap for your world famous two time champs mm-hmm. and feel the power. Well, that's great. Like, that's like a great face intro. Like, name the city, like, ask them if they are ready to get them to cheer, and then make them chant also. It's like perfect. You can't beat it. But it but it's kind of amazing that all of that has survived even through the shit show that was their early showing, I guess. Yeah. That was like the one good thing. It's just that nobody liked them enough to do yeah. any of those things. Well, I guess and they were not supposed to be likable people, really. They were at first. They were faces at first. Oof. Yeah. It started oh, as a face yeah. turned heel, then became back. like so popular they had to turn back. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what's going to happen to AJ soon. AJ Styles soon, also. He's, like, getting way too hot again. <laughs> um, well, it depends. I mean, if it, it depends who he's his 
his Royal Rumble feud is actually with, right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I'm just assuming Cena, but we'll see. Um, but no, this match is going to be... This will be a good match, because I love Cesaro and Sheamus, both as a tag team and as their... Ad, you know, of course, and as wrestlers. Sheamus slightly less, but Cesaro can carry any of their tag team matches. No problem. Um, and it's the first one where I'm not 100% convinced that the New Day is going to win right away. Yeah. I would hope that they don't lose it on, like, perhaps one of the weakest pay-per-views of the year. That would be lame. I'd rather them lose it in the Rumble if they're going to do that. But... And if you're looking with the storyline that they're that they're going with, with Cesaro and Sheamus, they're finally a team, or at least mm-hmm. on the same page after that bar fight. Yes, they're at least uh, competent enough to beat up drunk people together. Mm-hmm. So, And now they've won this qualifier match mm-hmm. uh, as a team. Mm-hmm. And, like, they were kind of dominant when they were against each other. Yeah. While in a tag team when they were just... Not, so not working united, together, um, be... but now they're united. So, could turn they out might be right. able to take down the new day. It's quite possible. Um, it's funny, not and it's I had figured when because uh, I went to a house show not that long ago, and some of these, I figured some of these matches, like I figured the matches at the house show would match up to the pay per view matches, but that wasn't quite the case here. There was like some other weird matches, like they had um, like Bailey and Alicia Fox teaming up together against hmm. uh, Emma and Dana Brooke, which was a really good match. And also, like Emma came out, she just like with the old music and the like old get up minus the shoulder pads. So I don't know what's it's happening with the gloves and the glasses yeah. and all that. Yeah. And I guess she was supposed to debut this week on Raw and didn't. Right? Yeah. I don't yeah. know what happened. Are they just like doing a pull? The, are they just like giving her Eva Marie's gimmick? I, guess. I mean, I think that is it because she had a tweet immediately. She had like, uh, I don't debut on your time schedule tweet. Like, Yeah, so maybe that's it. Although they also kind of gave that gimmick to what's his name on SmackDown. That guy, uh, Kurt Hawkins. Kurt Hawkins. Yes. Oh, that that new guy. That, that spry that new, young guy. new wrestler. That yeah. NXT upstart. The NXT upstart. The Edgehead. The original Edgehead. Whatever. Let's move on to the next dumb match. Where's he been? Where? Who? Yeah. Edge. Kurt Hawkins. He, yeah. He, where's he Edge? On, he was on the last pay per view and lost in his debut match. <laughs> Really? That was yeah. that was that. That was his first match, and he lost. It was in a pre-show thing. That was a TLC. Yeah, it was a, it was okay. a TLC pre-show match. That he I missed lost. it. I felt like that was ages ago. It was only two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it was like ages ago. You're barely. It's just because we didn't podcast for it, I think. So it feels like it never actually happened. It's possible. Guys, I'm losing my mind. Laundry. I mean. <laughs> Uh, so this is the match you did not see get made on Raw, John. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn in a singles what? match with a 10-minute time limit. Uh, made after, I guess, so I guess oh. on, what's that? So, no, I, I saw an article saying that there is a match added with a time limit, and I thought it was the women's championship match. No. Didn't know it was this. This is all news to me. 10-minute time oh, limit. Continue. Uh, basically, Sami Zayn on Raw wanted to fight Braun Strowman. Mick Foley said he was not ready. And then Sami Zayn said he wanted to go to SmackDown. Mm-hmm. So I saw that. I'll call up Daniel Bryan. And then later came out and announced in the ring uh, to Sami that he had traded Sami Zayn for an equal... Uh, SmackDown superstar, straight Eva Marie. Trade. A straight up trade for Eva Marie. And to which Sami Zayn well, first of all, the best part of all this is Sami Zayn said he wanted to go to SmackDown, and when that happened, you could hear the entire crowd cheering. And then <laughs> Mick Foy came out and said he had a contract to trade SmackDown or Sami Zayn to SmackDown, and again the crowd exploded. So it's like I don't think that was the reaction they were going for there. 
But they did eventually boo when he announced that he was going to trade him straight up for Eve Marie, to which Sami Zayn announced that he was better than 1,000 Eve Marie's. <laughs> which really, like, there's no need. But he's not wrong, but also, come on. It's hard is, to is argue that, with. Yeah, is that an accurate number? Can we, have we done the math? What's up? She's, like, not suspended anymore. I don't know what's going on there. Is she... First time it's over for a while. She's doing a movie, oh. I thought. Is she, in, is she on Total Divas this year? Yeah. Okay, so at least but there's it, that. It's still, Total Divas is a, is a while ago now. Wait, so what is this week? I thought there was Total Divas this week. There's no, like... they taped it a while ago. Oh, no, okay. it's it's we're we're back in time. We're pre draft. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> What's that world like? Oh man, I forgot. I don't even remember what it's so... like anymore to have one show. Well uh, they're they're really obfuscating what time it is on Total Divas right now, hmm. but they just had like the first like, hey Paige. Why are you dating Alberto Del Rio? Okay. And what the fuck is going on with your life talk? Why? Oh god! Why does like, your finger say Poppy? Well, let's let's hold on. Let's save the Total camera? Divas talk for the the Total. I, right. I I think I think the Total Divas minute has actually become a popular part of the podcast. So we'll save it for that. Um, no a rating spike. Yeah, that's right. For in the third hour. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, but yeah. So then Mick Foley announced that he, the 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 anger and fire in Sami Zayn was what he was trying to provoke to see if he was ready to fight Braun Strowman. So he said, "I'm giving you ten minutes in the ring against Braun Strowman on Sunday." You know what? I kind of like that because it shows that Braun is a monster that the that the general manager thinks that no one can survive 10 minutes with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it helps build Braun a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And I think he's going to throw Sami Zayn across the ring for about 10 minutes. He's just mm -hmm. going to like take advantage of Sami Zayn's ability to oversell almost anything. And this is going to be great because it of it. Feel like This is like the first time Vince McMahon saw Rocky was this week, and he was like... <laughs> We can make someone look look good by just making it to the end. Like <laughs> he just has to go the distance. That's it. Yeah, and then they both win. Really, I hmm. yes. I kind of wish that they had the uh, the Kevin Owens Sami Zayn match this week. Uh, I feel like last week they showed off that he can be a main mm -hmm. a main event player. Uh, he went the distance with Owens, and Owens kind of got lucky. And you can kind of see it with the last move and the pinfall. Uh, so I, I feel like that would have been a, a stronger case for this. Did, did Sammy have a match be before like the whole announcement of this whole thing? No. Yeah, he fought James Hall. Oh, that's right. Yes, he did. Oh, the man of peace. <sighs> yeah. Who looks like he's on something. My God, that man is like gigantic right now. He's like the size of Braun Strowman. Like, he's got nothing else to do but just like pump iron. I guess, yeah. He just hangs out in the gym every day waiting for Vince Other to show matches up. for him. <laughs> Trying to beg for a match. Well, thanks for coming for the two weeks before we got the cruiserweights. Oops. Appreciate it, bud. Yeah. Here, why don't you, like, when we were to SmackDown, you got a match with Kurt Hawkins on the pre-show there. <laughs> uh, but no, this is going to be a hammering, I think. And I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. it's a, it will build up to something cool, I think, eventually. But this sure. is a good way to, like get it going yeah it's definitely building up for the main event of the royal rumble roman reigns versus braun Strowman versus the big show because the big show you know is versus always the odds on pay. and then they just redo a mcmahon in every corner <laughs> i guess linda mcmahon's gonna be busy but she well you put trump in that corner then rich swan the wwe cruiserweight champion versus tj perkins Versus Brian Kendrick. Also, watching 205 Live has taught me that no one gives a shit about TJ Perkins in that crowd. Or Brian Kendrick. No one. But people There's love one man. Jack Gallagher. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. He's not mm -hmm. in this match, though, unfortunately. But I really not like yet. that. He like He's impressed me. I thought he would be kind of lame, but he is... Also, he's in. A, he fought MMA. I didn't. Really, I yeah, didn't know that. He's he's two and zero this year. That's cool, man. Yeah. 
That's cool. And that bit with announcing he was going to interfere in a match. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's Perfect so way good. to get over for me, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy <laughs> needs to be a big deal more mm -hmm. now, please. Um, it's worth noting, uh, Brian Kendrick secretly has the best theme music on Raw. It's pretty huh, good. I, hmm. It's I don't better know I than like TJ it. Perkins, that's for sure. No, it's just, it does seem weird, though, that, like, all the other cruiserweights have very simple, like, titantrons. And, like, TJ Perkins is way over the, like, they spend that's all the cruiserweights the first champ. budget. I and guess. also, this doesn't fit when he's not the champ. For, when he just comes weeks, out to all that shit. Weeks after he lost the championship, his little sprite on the on the runway still had him with the championship, and they finally fix it this week. Oops. Yeah. So you think he's not gonna win this week? <laughs> <laughs> not after they put the work in. I don't think there's a chance. Though he did beat Rich Swan on two hundred five live this week. Is that actually live? Do we uh, not this week. Not this week. No, they taped it at Raw. Okay. So they can do tribute to the troops mm. after SmackDown. Doesn't make sense with Raw people. Oh, that probably would have given away the whole tag team championship thing. Yeah. SmackDown was also not live this week. Really? I didn't know that. Barely. Uh, SmackDown was recorded earlier, and then at the normal SmackDown time, they were recording tribute for the troops. Oh, mm. okay. All right. So everything's alive this week. Except for Raw. Raw was live. Great. Yeah. And I, guess I, I also read that, uh, I guess, uh, 205 Live is a fully Vince McMahon overseen project, which kind of explains a little bit about what's going on there. It does kind of... I didn't... I haven't watched the last two weeks. Is it good still? I like... I mean, it's fine. It's just like... There's, like, still, like, barely any storyline in it. Sure. Like, Jack Gallagher has put, like, I think the actual first real storyline in the Cruiserweight division by... Him and, and the uh, the local champion, Arya Davari. My local champion. Oh, that's right. He's, he's from Minnesota. I found out this week that... Uh, Sean Davari and Ken Anderson have a wrestling school like the next town over and Arya Davari is one of the coaches Ooh. and Eric Cannon and Molly Holly you need to go get trained by Mr. Anderson <laughs> that would be learn how to kiss awesome. injured a whole Ken bunch Kennedy. yeah he'll be like teach you how to get on the gear <laughs> at just the wrong time just like anytime I go like this some mic will appear. A microphone drops. That's right. <laughs> um, no, but this cruiserweight match is actually gonna be really good. I like Rich Swan a lot. I this has it has the perfect setup for me of Rich Swan versus in my mind two heels because I can't stand T J Perkins. The like dabbing during wrestling. No, anti, anti. <laughs> Can't like, get behind taunts during that, wrestling. That, not that. I just don't. It's that's a heel taunt to me. The dab, the dab during wrestling is a heel taunt. Whatever that entrance is, pass, pass on this whole guy. But I get like Art so said, Brian Kendrick's entrance much more, much better in general. Just he's got that filthy hobo look that I'm not a fan of. Wait. So, Art, what's what's your top five themes for Raw? Since mm. Brian Kendrick's at the top now for you. Yeah. Um, uh, what else you got? Good Raw themes include. Uh, Rusev it's rough. It's a bad. Uh, Sasha Banks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Sami Zayn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh. Chris Jericho, an all-time classic. Not Absolutely. having the intro is not great, but, you know. Oh, like the countdown? Yeah, the countdown and no the... Jacket. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. about uh, yeah, it's either Rusev or, like, Kevin Owens, one of those, like, good mm -hmm. instrumentals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how do you feel about... I've, I've seen people talking about Sheamus's recently. Bottom tier. You think? That's a bottom Better tier one. Better than his one. old one. The club... Intro uh, theme the, the is like bottom Ugh. tier theme. 
Yeah, no. Uh, what about uh, Enzo and Cass? That's like a mid-tier theme, I think. That's okay. fine. Yeah, it's probably like seven or eight. Yeah. SmackDown, I think, is harder. There's, there's like... Roman Reigns I mean, eight, theme at this point is... Bullet. Like, that shit needs to get changed. Roman needs a theme. new theme. Time to take away the S.H.I.E.L.D. theme. Yeah, oh, oh, so... For for this whole tag team thing that happened mm-hmm. at uh, on Raw, the, mm-hmm. the final match, mm-hmm. did Roman and Seth come out through the crowd to S.H.I.E.L.D. music? No, what the they fuck? They came out separately... Separately to their own music down the ramp. Yeah. But again, tri- the troops had a shield reunion tonight. They had, mm-hmm. yeah, they had all of them. And it did end, Raw did end on Roman and Seth standing tall. So. Okay. Um, okay. Two ro- like- s- standing there with Roman Reigns' music, or no, with, with Seth's music playing, I think, actually. And like. Like, it was real weird. Like, there's a point where, like, Roman gave, like, Seth, like, a little side, like, look, you know? Like, like a little, like, wistful side eye, you know? But, yeah. uh, I mean, that was just me seeing that. Like, I expected, like, a half-hearted fist bump. I, like, I, was, I figured that's what they were going to do, was, like, a fist bump. And he looked like he wanted to fist bump him, but I think it was, it was not to be. Not yet, friend. You must wait on the fist bump. <laughs> Um. All right. Here's a match I have a problem with coming okay. up next, and I I'm in the minority of having a problem with this match. I'm pretty sure. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte in a 30 minute Iron Man match, Iron Woman match for the Raw Women's Championship. One, I'm tired of seeing this match. Like okay. two. This the- Different That's match. Fair. It's got a different stipulation and everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Two, an Iron Man match is 60 minutes, not 30 minutes. <laughs> Listen, they only have three hours to fill. I'm, I'm just saying. And a pre-show. It's just a 30-minute match. It's not an Iron Man match. Like, it's not an Iron Man match either way because there's no men in it. It's Iron Woman match. But whatever. Iron, Iron Person match? Iron... Whatever. But also, I'm pretty sure... On their last match at Raw that was Falls Count Anywhere, I believe Mick Foley described it as a feud ender. Did he not? The last one. The last match. It was like, but then it's not. Now we get a long match instead. I don't remember where I saw this, but from what I understand, there is no, there's no rematch clause in this match. This is the end. This, okay. Thank God. Yep. They they set it on Raw. They said, also, they said the last one was the last match on Raw. No, but they actually said no rematch clause. Oh, God, please. Thank you. I just That I've looked, and that after this match this weekend, more Iron Man matches will have been less than an hour than will have been an hour. It'll be six to five after this weekend. Maybe they'll have the first half hour on the pre-show, and then the second <laughs> split Iron Man match. Um... <laughs> No, it's and it's not that they have bad matches because it's quite the opposite. Charlotte and Sasha have fantastic matches, but mm-hmm. I've seen p- enough now. For for right now, it's just like I'm glad this is officially the end, for sure, for real now. And it also seems I don't know the whole like weird title changing between them seems like they're trying to build history for that belt real quick, you know, in like a weird way, sure. which is not something I'm holding against either of the two of them, obviously, but like, it's just weird. And they're also That's doing all. that weird thing where they're keeping Charlotte's uh, like victory streak intact for pay-per-views. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like Sasha can beat her on any raw that mm-hmm. she wants. <laughs> How was the last one not the last match when Ric Flair came down the ramp to congratulate Sasha over comforting his own daughter? Like, that's like a closing chapter, right? But no. Well, a pay-per-view does, basically doesn't count. Yeah. Bummer. Fun fact I just learned. Kurt Angle, 0-3 in Iron Man matches. Let's see, he lost one to Brock Lesnar. 
He lost Chris Benoit. Uh, one to Brock Lesnar. One to Chris Benoit. I don't know what the other one mm-hmm. is. And one, uh, he has a draw with Shawn Michaels. Well, I mean, Mr. WrestleMania, obviously. Two gold medals can't stack up to that. He's won every <laughs> title in the WWE, okay? I mean, I might go find this match on the network. I haven't seen this one. Apparently, they did a 30-minute Iron Man match on an episode of Raw in October of 2005. Chris Benoit, only person to win two. Who was the other one? He's the only one. He's the only He's person the only to, one to win mean, two. Who, who did he win? Is the other one that wasn't against Kurt Angle? Uh, Triple H. Oh. Was that when? And he, he had Eugene the... in his corner. Chris Benoit did. Yeah. Yeah. Triple H <laughs> had Batista and Ric Flair. Remember. Mm-hmm. Chris Benoit and Eugene. <laughs> Best friends. Great. Uh, <laughs> Seth Rollins versus. Wait, Chris wait, wait! I've what? seen this before <laughs> on SmackDown recently. Wait, what? This is... oh, never mind. James Ellsworth. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a James Ellsworth. Joke. James Ellsworth. Mm. Okay. I mean, I think Sasha and Charlotte are good. Put on another really good match. They... Yeah, absolutely. Their matches have been really good. This one's probably going to be no different. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then we should probably let it breathe for a little bit. Let yeah, uh... I mean, they only have four women on the Raw roster, so that what else are they right. going to do? Is that right? I feel like we go over this every month, but that can't be right. That is right. It's these it? two: yeah. Bailey and Alicia, Dana, okay. Nia. Yeah. Okay. Possibly Mickey James and Emelina. And Emelina. And Paige. And- Paige's suspension is over. Theoretically. And she is signed to Raw, right? In yeah, she story? was drafted to Raw. Huh. Hmm. Stephanie McMahon. That's right, Stephanie. Works for me. Brie Bella, I assume. No, I don't think she was ever drafted. No, she wasn't. Neither she was Nikki, not. actually. Because she was injured no. when they did that. Yeah, she was. Oh, was she? Okay. I think so. Um... All right. Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. They had this at the house show I went to. At the house show I went to, every face won. So it was kind of a house show. Yeah, I know. But I was like, geez, every single one, like, blew my mind. And once again, at this house show, the big show got the, the, uh, the biggest pop of the night. People love Big Show. People fucking. Yeah. And then it didn't, it helped that he also was uh, fighting Rusev. So he got the, like, USA chant and the Big Show cheers, you know? Like, he got the double right there. And that was a great match, because that was one where, like, like Big Show, like, actually just, like, tossed Rusev around like a rag doll. That was imp- Like, it was the first time, I feel like, in a decade that Big Show has, like, acted like a big man in the ring. It was very impressive. I wish he would do that more. Do you remember the Royal Rumble last year? Was it last year? Two when years him ago? When Kane like threw like half the roster out. When he was just like WMDing everyone and That's just right. like dumping them. That's right. Uh, that was, man, it was this past year, wasn't it? No, 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 no. No, no. no it's the Daniel. This Bryan past year was year. the one where Triple H won. So it was yeah. the year before that, the one where Roman won because of The Rock, and then Rusev like was hiding under the ring or something. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Big Show got svelte. He's he's looking slim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Rollins and Jericho, boys. This should actually be. This should actually be pretty good. I'm excited for this. Jericho is still hilarious. Mm-hmm. Even though his like role with Kevin Owens, like that that their whole their two roles completely swapped, in that it went. Now Jericho is the strong and confident one, and KO is like the pathetic like loser. That is very strange. Um, <laughs> but seems to be like the way they do it with any champion that's not Roman, I guess, lately. Or Triple H. Like, he was pretty... He looked alright as the champ, I guess. Um, I like the meaningless critique of Raw lately. 
Yeah. Which is that people have started to no sell the list. Rollin and Reigns don't care about going on the list of Jericho, mm-hmm. and everyone else has cared about going on the list of Jericho. Undermines the list of Jericho. They really are devaluing the list. Yeah. In fact, I believe Seth Rollins this week requested to go on the list, which is really not how this works at all. <laughs> not yeah. at all. <laughs> not good. I, and then, although Jericho did have the good reply of, I'll just put you on the disabled list. <laughs> so that was real good. That was good. But then he didn't. So <laughs> he, was, he was there for a while. That's Let's keep him off. Yeah, please. Uh, it's fine. This should be good. Chris Jericho was hilarious. I don't know how long. I just figured. I figured Jericho's run was going to end quite a while ago, but he's still it's here. supposed to. I don't know what's he, like. Is he's, Fozzie he's canceled currently, all their tours? He's on a month-to-month contract deal. Is he really? Yeah, it's as long as he and Vince feel that he is needed. <laughs> he's staying, um, which could be wrapping up. I guess. I mean, maybe he'll just like. That Fozzie's going on tour next year. There's I mean, going to be a time next year where he is gone. They'll probably keep him around just to like direct traffic in the Rumble again, and then that'll be it, I guess. Oh, I think he'll go through Mania. Hmm. I wonder what the other members of Fozzie are doing. I guess they're going on tour next year, so they're not too upset. <laughs> but how bizarre that Jericho's still around in like soon to be 2017. And, and one huge. of his best. This is his best run in a long time. Like, the whole thing. Like, going back to when he showed up in Japan for no reason. (laughs) That was good. To fight Kevin Owens? Uh, To fight Ambrose or something, I think. I don't even remember now. Neville? Yeah, Neville, I think, is right. That's right. Yeah. And then they had... That was the one where they had uh, Brock versus Kofi. Which was weird. And like Kofi came out to the old Kofi music and not the New Day stuff. Was was it that one or was that uh It was one that they had Finn live. Balor and and uh Kevin Owens. I don't remember now. I think it's the same one, isn't it? Is that the same no. one? No, because no, they had a one Japan one and East. then they had a Beast in the East. Uh yeah, no never mind. Yeah. Never mind, that is the same one. Because that match was like five minutes long. The, the, Brock, the one? Brock Lesnar one. Yeah. At like in the middle of the show. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, I woke up at like three in the morning to watch that thing, and I think it was mostly worth it. <laughs> I mean, that best... Jericho match was real good. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, pff, the only match left. Wow. This is a. Uh... Small. That was a quick uh, run through here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship, or but n- not the United why, States. Why is it not for both? Oddly enough, at the house show here, they Kevin Owens made a point that um, made a point that only because it was Kevin Owens versus Roman here, but it was only for the United States Championship. As Kevin Owens liked to point out, I win no matter what. <laughs> Which was kind of, That was easily the worst match of the night at the house show here, though. It was... Like, we left in the middle of it. It was that bad. There wow. was... They, like... So, it was, at, like, maybe a decent start. Like, you know, a good, like, five minutes of, uh, you know, just back and forth action. But then Kevin Owens got Roman in a chin lock and kept it there for, I'm not kidding, like, six minutes. I feel like that's just a heel tactic from it Kevin was Owens. Awful. Like, yeah, we eventually that's what, what made us leave. What's we gonna just, piss people off? We just left in the middle of that nice. match. I could not take it anymore. And then by the time we were leaving the arena, I heard Roman Reigns' music. So I was like, well, I was probably could have stuck around for that, but at least we beat the traffic, I guess. I was so mad though. What's the first part of that match? Some punches and then a drive by and then no, maybe it was like a no close line. Or- it was almost no offense at all from Roman, actually, in the beginning. Like This also sounds like a Roman Reigns match. Yeah, it's, he just takes the whole beat down and then a spear or two, and then it's over. But Somehow there, his Superman opponent punch. is cut from his vest. Yeah. 
That thing is cheating, man. They made D'Lo Brown take off his vest. How not they'll make Roman take off his vest? Even Baron Corbin doesn't wrestle with his top on anymore. Which I, no, he well, just uses he, it to swing people around. <laughs> Real honestly, like if anything, Baron Corbin should be wrestling with his top on. Like, please. Excuse me, the most metal athlete in America, Baron Corbin. Excuse me. He won an award at the Revolver Music Awards or something last night. For most metal athlete? I'm even not sure he's the most metal guy in WWE. I mean, the Ascension are pretty metal. Oh, but who... Are they even in WWE anymore? <laughs> they were on SmackDown this week. Yeah, they, they were in that Battle Royal. They were, Yeah, uh, what's Connor his name? Connor was in the final two. Final two. Speaking of, poor oh. Zack Ryder. I know. Poor Zack Ryder won for the Hype Bros a number one contender match on SmackDown. In the process, he ripped his kneecap off of his knee. Is that is that exactly what happened? Yeah, his, like, his kneecap okay, separated and then went back on there. And then yeah, they took him he for was him. he was in visible pain. <laughs> they had to carry him out. It was bad. Well, no. So, uh, yeah, what's his tag team partner's name? Mojo. Raleigh. Yeah, so Mojo Raleigh oh, runs he out. Bounded like, back oh, into the man, ring. We won. We're gonna be fully in champions. character. Bounded back into the ring and like essentially Zach is just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> it was bad. just almost screaming in pain. As like Mojo Raleigh is like shaking him around. <laughs> it was uncomfortable to watch. Read the situation, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe just don't get as hype. Don't stay hype for just... this. <laughs> don't stay hype get less hype actually I mean, it's it's how he is he just can't <laughs> he can't help himself did you guys watch okay so now we're just gonna fully give up on this match who cares sure. um did you guys watch cena on snl this yeah. past week yeah. it's pretty yeah. good he played uh two sports dudes at podiums did you re- recognize that his rob gronkowski impression was basically a mojo raleigh impression like that was kind of weird. Why. That was pretty funny. They're like best <laughs> the same friends. person. It was just so good. I was like, they never, they're like, I was like, this works really f- as both of them. This is good. Yeah, that was it. Was Cena did well? Mm-hmm. He's gonna. Interestingly enough, he rated higher than The Rock's last SNL hosting gig. Wow, really? By like two million people. You know what that means, right? First, first one. It means. I would have The Rock done it. It means WrestleMania 33 huh. in Minneapolis is going to be thrice in a lifetime, boys. <laughs> Rock versus Cena for the rights to being on SNL. <laughs> the Rock's first appearance on SNL when he had Triple H, The Big Show, and Mankind with him was 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 great. Loved it. I don't yeah. think I saw that. I don't have to watch that. I think that was just WWE superstars hosted SNL. But really, The Rock is the star. Mm-hmm. It was nominally the one who did it. I think it was during the Mummy 2 press. I was Honestly, re- Big Show could probably host SNL if we're... Yeah. I, uh, I was watching some old Raws recently because I hate myself. And so I watched sure. the 2011 draft, <clears throat> which was a mess. Um, but then that led into an episode that was the Rock's birthday celebration... But also, the first Raw after uh, we killed Osama Bin Laden. Oh, right. And it was the weirdest Raw ever. Like, they had, like, they did a whole, like... um... They found out during that show, didn't they? No, because it started out with... Sunday. It started out with uh, The Rock leading the Pledge of Allegiance to the crowd and then like giving a speech about how America was the best. And then they went to a commercial and came back and the rock came back out for his birthday celebration. It was, And then at the end, like they came out again and got like some kids in Cena shirts to start singing him happy birthday. It was very weird. The whole show was so strange. What? Sounds wonderful. That, and that, by the way, the 2011 draft that I watched is also the draft where Cena was drafted to SmackDown, and then as as like almost the first draft pick, 
And then at the, as the last draft pick, he was drafted back to Raw. What the f- Was there a trade involved? No, it just... Because at that point, the draft was a... Like, they would have matches for draft picks, and then it would the it would be a computerized randomizer that would pick who got drafted. Was this in the time of the anonymous Raw GM? It was okay. the anonymous Raw GM, and this was... Was during... Cole in the coal mine? Yes, he was, and he had just <laughs> become Sir Michael Cole also. Okay. Uh, by a Just, fake Queen of England came and made him a knight. I remember this. This was like when I got back into it. <laughs> what a t- and then it was I, a terrible time to come back, except for the whole CM Punk stuff. And then they had a match that was Jr. versus Cole for a draft pick. Also, yeah, didn't he dump a bunch of barbecue sauce? Not during him? this match. No, Not- but Jack Swagger like beat up Jr. and the King. It, the whole thing was very strange. I'm glad I was. This is like when I was taking a break from a lot of this stuff. Was around that time period. Like I came back in like 2012, I think. I came back at WrestleMania 28. That was the one where the Miz won, right? The Miz was our champion. Our our champion. All right, let's run down predictions for this shit show. <laughs> we all lose. We all lost. Uh, Big Cass versus Rusev. Oh, this is actually this is, tough. The, this is the hard one because the stakes are so low for both of them. Uh, Enzo interferes. Mm. But somehow Lana gets caught interfering. Yeah, it's a, Or no, it's it'll be the opposite. Lana interfere, interferes and then Enzo gets caught interfering. I agree with that. That seems fine. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it just matters like so little. Uh, like big cast is my like gut, mm-hmm. but it doesn't make any sense. Rusev should obviously win this match and then go on and do something better. But but cast is my is my gut here. Like they want to protect Cass. Mm-hmm, they want mm-hmm. to protect Rusev. That's why I think a DQ does make sense. Okay, I think you're right. Uh, another somewhat difficult one. The New Day versus Shizaro. I like that name. That's good. I I think they keep the tag team championships with the New Day at least until the Royal Rumble. I hope that's also what happens. Because that would... It's just such a bottom tier pay-per-view. I don't want them to lose it here. And it would get New Day up to 500 days if they hold it till the Rumble. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, maybe they just lose it here and move move on. Let's get something else sub- going on. Club. Something I like feel that. like they would I, I feel like they should lose to Gallows and Anderson. Yeah. Like over anybody else. And if it happened at the Rumble, like AJ could be a part of that too, somehow. Yeah. That would be really cool. Some weird shenanigans. Uh I mean, Finn Balor. Let's this this is some wild speculation. Finn Balor no longer needs his sling. He is targeting a return for WrestleMania. He's saying it could be sooner, but he's targeting WrestleMania. He has interfered in a match at ICW. Really? Yeah. Uh, it was last week, two weeks ago. He interfered in a in a uh, Drew Galloway match. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, swung a weapon, so he could interfere somehow there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd love and, to see him make an appearance on the Raw after WrestleMania, though, where he comes back to get his title after yeah. whoever wins it. Roman, yeah. maybe, probably. And, and that's he's going to win again. That's my that's my wild <laughs> rambling speculation of the night. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to say New Day or New Day. Yeah, New, New Day. Day wins. Yeah, New Day. Okay. Uh, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn. This will go to the time limit, and no one will win. Yeah, time limit draw. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rich Swan versus TJ Perkins versus the Brian Kendrick, which he is now officially again. Uh, Rich Swan retains it because I like him a lot. Of those three, I like him the most. Uh, he just got the championship. Just mm-hmm. keep it on him for more than three weeks. 
Did you see that photo, by the way, with a Big E photo with mm-hmm. uh, New Day? And so- it really, like, seeing that photo made me realize how chintzy the the cruiserweight title kind of looks. I don't know. It, it does look like it a It looks toy. like a toy, which is a real bummer. Colored straps are a bad idea. Yeah, not a fan. But it's Although, also, like, that's the not... weird crimping and... Like, there's some weird design choices with that belt. I will say the blue the blue tag team titles I do like, though. But they're a real dark blue, which helps. Well, that's because they don't look like pennies. Yeah, they're silver and the real... I think it's it's just that it's... The Cruiserweight's too bright, you know? It's like like neonish purple, which is like the wrong... Like, it was a dark purple. It would be a little bit better it's, looking. It's the Cruiserweight classic color. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Rich Swan. If Rich Swan loses here, I think it says bad things for the entire cruiserweight division. I think it says yes. bad things about how much they believe in any of these people. Yeah, because yep. it's that would it just constantly be, be moving back and forth. Be a real bummer. Uh, Sasha versus Charlotte. Uh, she should win so she finally breaks that pay per view streak and keeps the title because that title doesn't need to switch hands again for like the third time in a month. <laughs> I think it's a draw. You can't have a draw on an Iron Man match. It goes to sudden death. Does it? I think they Wait, what about that one that you before. mentioned went to a draw? Oh, with, with Kurt uh, Angle and Shawn Michaels. And Chris, yeah. But that wasn't for anything. That oh. was just a... Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, I want right, Sasha to win right. to just end it and then that's that. And then sure. she could fight Nia Jax or something. But once again, this is just a, a like a D tier pay per view. Yeah, so don't change the title. But Only like you, changes. you end the streak. Yeah, that's fine. She already, her own father came out to abandon Charlotte on a Raw, so it doesn't matter at this point. I think. I mean, granted, the Raw was in Charlotte, so I mean, it worked out. But whatever. Uh, I gotta go, but I think they're gonna move toward. I think Charlotte Bailey is the next feud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. There's not that many heels left in that div- in that ladies division. It's like Charlotte and Nia Jax and now Alicia Fox. And that's it. And right? they can't really dig oh, into not. NXT people. I mean, they could. Well, there's, there's no one there. I guess. I guess it would be Nia next, huh? Mickey James, that's who it is. If she, if that thing about her coming back is real. <laughs> Three-year contract. Oh God. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. I think Seth Rollins is going to win this. The list of Jericho will be officially defeated. We're not, I think so not too. maybe not quite defeated, but thwarted at the very least, held at bay. Rollins needs the momentum if he's going to keep doing his I want Triple H. Like, he can't be just mm. losing it. Like, mm-hmm. but give me Triple H. So they're saving that till WrestleMania then, right? Like, they're finally going to do that, I guess. Do you do you think Kevin comes out during this match? To, like, back up his, his buddy? They're not like buds anymore. Going to? No, but on, on Monday, he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have his back during his match. He's going to have my back during my match. Obviously, Chris Jericho did not have any part of that i think he's gonna come out and fuck it up for chris jericho okay if if he comes out at all he will come out to screw it up on accident do you think that's the big do you think that's the big royal rumble match for that championship is kevin owens versus chris jericho i do not think that Uh, because i'm not picking kevin owens in this next match yeah, I'm about to say I'm not 100% confident. I am. I feel that, well, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns is going to have two belts soon. Yeah. One versus all One times two. Times dose. And then he's going to somehow team up with Seth Rollins and win the tag team titles. Maybe. From transitional champions Cesaro and Sheamus. Not already, I didn't pick them, though. So. <laughs> and then he's going to lose a ton of weight. And then he's going to be the Cruiserweight champion. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's just so hard to pick against Roman these days. He's, it really is. He's not, he has some strong powers on his side. Full level. But then who knows? Like, Does that lead to them doing the same thing they did last year where the winner of the Rumble is the champion again? 
Or do you think they won't do that? I don't even know what they're going to do for the Rumble. Are they going to have like they used to where it's a double, where it's a both promotion Rumble and then the winner challenges? I think for so. Dinner? I think they've announced it's both already. This, they're so nice. What if they did two Rumble matches? That'd be pretty funny. What, what if, if they did a women's Rumble? What if they did World War Three? Don't. What if they did a triple cage match? I actually was reading someone counted all the people, on all the men on the roster, and there's enough to do a World War IV with four rings and 20 people in each ring. Do you do an NXT one? An NXT Rumble? No. Uh, what is World... All right. There's World some War III things is three in my wrestling rings. background. Okay. It's just World... three rings, but a Royal Rumble? Yes. Okay. Um, in between, and then you can go, but like all the rings are touching each other, like in a oh. triangle shape. Okay. That's not the one where they're stacked up. That's different. I, 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 yeah. yeah. So World War Three, yeah, it was three ring rumble. And then if I remember right, the winner was the WCW champion. God, WCW sucked. What? No, World War Three. like <laughs> WCW did have a lot of bad things, but World War Three was actually really three rings, like 60 dudes coming what, out. What if it was three rings? What if they were six-sided rings? That's, con- Wow. What if they were all what if EC3 in Matt Hart's shows backyard? <laughs> that is, that's coming soon. The final deletion, or whatever it is, total nonstop deletion is soon. You would lose two sides per ring by having them together, though. That would be... Mm, you're right. Mm-hmm. You should just do World War Three for the Rumble, and then big sexy Kevin Nash comes back and wins it. Just like in the WCW days. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Solved. He wins Called both titles. Him. Undisputed champion, big sexy Kevin Nash. Texted him to come and be part of World War Four. That's right. Alright, whatever. Fuck this pay-per-view. <laughs> Does anyone have oh, no. that John Cena is winning the Royal Rumble so he can go on to face WWE champion The Undertaker at WrestleMania so he can win his sixteenth title against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And retire The Undertaker. This is all fitting into place. Yeah, AJ's going to lose the title to The Undertaker at Royal Rumble. Can Taker walk still? He walked to the ring yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, anyone can <laughs> walk for five minutes. I mean, yeah, Not yeah. anyone. To that be was... fair, his ring, ring entrance is a real slow walk, though. It is. It's, he's shuffling under that. <laughs> all right. Before he's we go. On a hoverboard. <laughs> Uh, so, so what I'm seeing, at least on on Wikipedia, is yeah. saying that it's 30 man rumble, and the winner will receive a world championship match at WrestleMania 33 for either Raw's Universal Championship okay. or SmackDown's WWE Championship. So that's how they did it back in in the early 2000s. Also, that's when Chris Benoit won and then requested a trade to Raw so that he could fight uh, Triple H. Oh, weird. Okay. Mm-hmm. But then Shawn Michaels had also or had a WrestleMania match. But then Chris Benoit said he wanted to do it, so that's when they had the triple threat match. And Chris Benoit beat both of them. I think he pinned Shawn Michaels, actually, in that match. Or made him tap. I can't remember. Anyway. Art. It's time for the Total Divas Minute. I'm excited to know. Obviously, I know what's going on now. So it's not like you're up to date on the latest news. Sure. But... Uh the fun thing for last week's Total Divas was they did like a talk between Mark Carano and Paige that was off camera. Like it was just like on mic with mm. with subtitles. Ooh. And then afterwards Paige is like, Can we not film right now? Which is like one looks really serious. Two, the easiest thing in the world to fake. Yeah. But yeah. last episode was like the she's dating Del Rio, no one's cool with it episode. Mm. Uh it was also Renee Young and Dean Ambrose go stand up paddle boarding, which was like really weird. And Renee Young like only talks about like how all of the positions for paddle boarding like made her swimsuit look like she wasn't wearing one from the back. It was a <laughs> very odd thing for her to be obsessed with. Interesting. But Renee Young is a is a is a solid addition to the cast. Mm-hmm. Lana is doing a little like less well because they don't have storylines of her that aren't just like someone doesn't like lana this week which is oh she's like, summer ray now so she's about to say the new summer ray or natalia 
Yeah. Oh, the the nat- the weird natty thing is that Tyson Kidd is allowed to be on the show this year. Wait, really? Yeah. No. So her like home life is very like sectioned off from the show this year. Is it just like her and the cats? Uh, does he just wear a cat outfit and he's no longer TJ? Tyson cat. <laughs> her, her dad's there. Oh, okay. And okay. They brought was, the anvil down from Canada. Awesome. He was like helping Natty, he was helping Lana train and he threw a medicine ball into a car windshield. Okay. Good. How does the anvil look in 2016? Bad, real bad. He's not doing great. Like a flat chunk of metal. Yeah, because I mean, he wasn't in the best shape when he was wrestling, so I can't even imagine what he looks like now. Oof. No, and he's got he's had a he's had some substance problems, and, mm. and he looks like uh, he looks like an old wrestler with substance abuse problems. Like I feel like there's just a, a million examples of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Swizzle Malarkey in the look. chat says that she did it. I guess did I mean she... Lana through the oh Lana's the ball. medicine ball thrower. Yeah. That makes sense because Natty was super pissed, and that doesn't get pissed at her dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Bella's plotline is is about is Nikki still injured on Total Divas? Nikki is still injured. They had a great sequence of Daniel Bryan trying to teach her a new finisher, which didn't end with her current with the TKO. Oh, he wanted her to do like a Rainmaker forearm, oh. which looked great. Uh. Or some kind of like rack attack to a forearm, like a like a go to sleep oh, forearm. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Daniel did one of those to Bree and like kind of fucked her up, but <laughs> great, <laughs> great. But I guess that fits his character of being a giant jerk, right? So that works. yeah, well, I mean, she it's it's probably like she didn't know what that move was like. No one had done that move before. Like mm-hmm. she just like took the bump a little awkwardly, but. Uh, I'm I'm kind of pissed we don't see the Rainmaker forearm from from Nikki. Like I don't know what. Great. Yeah, she her forearm looks great, and that was a, a cool way to do it. But I guess it didn't. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't call it, it. Rack Attack 2.0, so maybe Liga was like, "This sucks." Yeah. We can't sell shirts, but we'll, we can't sell shirts like this. How's the Miz and Maurice on there? I saw they're in the commercials. And oh, like, they're. Her plotline in the most recent episode, uh, the one airing tonight looks like someone breaks into their house, which looks like a fun Yeah, I saw, that's the one they've been showing a ton of commercials for on Raw and SmackDown. And they're just watching on their yeah. phone while all this goes down? Yeah. Yeah. But the other thing is, like, she keeps buying, she keeps adopting pets <laughs> while the Miz is out of town. Which, if you consider how much, like, one... When is he traveling and she's not? Like, I saw them at a house show and they were definitely together. Mm -hmm. But also, like, adopting a bunch of dogs when you're on the road four or five days a week feels kind of mean to those dogs. Mm -hmm. And don't they? They already have three dogs, don't they? Yeah, she adopted a fourth dog. Because they. So. I remember. Sorry. No, is this on one of the road trip things? I just remember that Miz said that they had three dogs one named Pumpkin, one named Spice, and one named Latte. Which was like, that's like one step too far. That's three steps too far, actually. But sorry, we're gonna say just where they did it. Uh, yeah, would, would this have been before she was on SmackDown? Oh, so pre brands No, yes. she, this cause... is this is a word about Money in the Bank. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this was before she was even. So in the she picture. wasn't yet a part of that thing. So that might be a win. Hmm. Well, she came back after WrestleMania. Did she? Oh, yeah, she, like, shit, she, she like, did. Hit Zack Ryder's dad. That's Wait, right. Swizzle Malarkey says she bought a house without telling him? They flip houses, and she oh, just, okay. like, bought a house. She was a real estate agent. That's what she was doing when she wasn't... Wrestling. Wrestling. Wait, I made she... that seem like a bigger deal in the commercials. Is this going to lead to another spinoff that's like, like uh, the House Brothers or whatever, but with Miz and Maurice? Like, well, Flip or Flop, the HGTV reality show about house flipping. I saw uh, that couple divorce this week because yeah, they divorced because he kept like taking his gun out and threatening to kill himself. Like the cops had to come to their house about it twice. Jesus. Which is really, if you don't get divorced after the first time, you're a very patient partner. Yep. 
Well, now it's perfectly primed it to have the Miz and Maurice House Flipper show spinoff. I would 100% watch that show. I don't know if it would take away too much from their, their in-ring time, but... Mm-hmm. Would you pay $2 more a month and watch it on the network? Ooh, that's a good question. But the house that they're flipping is the Legends house. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And, by the way, all the Legends come with the house when you buy it. So, I mean, that's already mm-hmm. a great deal. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, thank- that's Total Divas right now. Thank you. That is, this is, I think, the best way to watch Total Divas is just, th- mm-hmm. like, through you. Is I think because I don't I've tried watching it. It's tough. It's tough for me to get through. Like I have to find YouTube clips. I think is the best way of just like the funniest parts. But this works much better. And it, it's great because obviously we're interested. I like to imagine it like playing out. Like enough to ask about it. <laughs> I mean, if it's out there, find the clips of Daniel Bryan trying to teach anyone how to wrestle. There's like a clip from Total Bellas of him trying to teach Sami Zayn, <laughs> and there's a clip from uh, the the clip with him trying to teach Nikki. They're both like. Great. I was did... he trying to teach Sammy? He was sort of like, he wasn't really trying to teach him anything. He was like, this is what I was working on when, like, oh, this is the no. style I developed to not take bumps anymore oh. before they told me I couldn't fight anymore. I did watch one episode of Total Bellas that involved Bree going to, like, an MMA guy. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was all right. Total Bella Season 2 is going to be... Well, Total Bella Season 2 is probably going to be fine because it's probably going to be Nikki and John coming to live with Daniel and Bree when they have the baby. See, that it's sounds interesting. If you have Total Bella, it's going to start straining my, my credibility. I can't wait till John Cena bites that baby. Susan Malarkey, I think, is also another Total, Total Divas uh, fan because he does, again, say... Or they that's say... Jess. That's uh, That's, yeah. Oh, that's Jess. Okay. Nikki Bella not knowing words. Okay, I'm watching this. All right, I'm going to be doing some Google and some YouTube and after this. <laughs> she, did, she did think it was Bonds Bonds instead of Bon Bonds. And bonds, she thought chafing was, was pronoun- pronounced was, was chafing. Chafing. Neither of the Bellas are super smart, but Nikki is really great at leaning into not knowing how to pronounce words. <laughs> All right, I believe it. What a bizarre show. I really would watch the house show, though. Like, 100%, I would watch the house flipping show with Miz and Maurice. I would yeah. pay $2 a month extra on the WWE Network for that. I mean, I would I would try to find the houses they're flipping, right? They live in L.A. I would go oh, that's right. have it walk me through a house. What you have to do is find the next Legends house, because I think they filmed the last one in L.A., too. Or outside mm. of L.A. So we need to figure this out, find out where the Legends House 2 is. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up for this. I had way more fun talking about Total Divas than I did the pay-per-view. No, that's not true. Well, anyway. (laughs) Uh, Art, thank you for being on the show. Absolutely. Where can people find you other than on your couch watching Total Divas? I'm gonna go uh, when we when we wrap here. I'm gonna go right to that. Bed. Is it going to the I'm DVR? Davis, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, they can find me on Twitter at a table. They can read movie reviews at comicmix.com, and they should be listening to Friends at the Table at friendsatthetable.net. Nice. Now in season three. Ooh. Is it out? Out? Or are you guys just recording now? We're. I think we've. I think we've released four season three episodes. It's hard to know because I don't listen to the ones I'm on yeah that makes sense okay nobody just does let's say no one's invited to the couch no one come to the couch watch total divas in your own house please <laughs> uh john thanks yes. for being on the show sure when are we gonna stream near together oh man uh soon okay soon soon i've got I've got this used copy of near just sitting here yeah man um, I th- and I the new one's time. coming out so uh yeah yeah where um, else can people I'm, I'm gonna try to stream more so you can find me on twitter at john underscore carson uh and then here at uh twitch.tv slash stream friends i started streaming hearthstone that little game last week it's my first like real go at it people still and i it. almost beat phil the other day hey there you go um 
and he said my my deck was pretty good against dragon priest so that's a that's a thing dragon priest sure sure that was the deck that he had um okay. and uh and then near mm-hmm. soon mm-hmm. uh and probably some other things let it die i really want to get some uh some old Yu-Gi-Oh games going some <laughs> forbidden memories and some duelist of the roses but i need to find copies of them first okay that sounds cool. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, you can find me uh, on Twitter at, at Dylan Hecht, D Y L A N H E C H T. You can find archive episodes of the show at suplexfriends.com. And you can check out uh, live streams of John playing video games at twitch.tv slash streamfriends and archive clips of everyone playing all this business. Uh, at uh, streamfriends.tv or streamfriends.cool, which we still have. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Glad. Um, we didn't talk about Wrestle Kingdom. Cody Rhodes is there. It's going to... American Nightmare. Cody, Cody Rhodes versus CJ Parker is there. How weird is that? Um, Juice, Juice Robinson. Really? Juice Robinson. Yeah. That poor guy went left NXT and is going to continue to job to wwe superstars even after leaving the company it's gonna break people's noses with that palm um oh and in wrestling video game news they just added uh uh the one-winged angel to wwe 2k17 in the moves pack if you're if you were waiting <laughs> to play so you can have a good kenny omega now is they the time really wow oh my god does that cost in the money to get that David Woods doing it too uh I think it's like three or four dollars. I think the moves pack is one of their more expensive things. Wait, what was it called in that? Did they actually call it the One Winged Angel? No, it isn't. But I don't know what it's called. Because you just oh, because they're just showing it. Yeah. All right. Well, until next time, I'll probably next time I'll have some Wrestle Kingdom news. I think also coming up soon is the f- the total nonstop deletion, the one filmed entirely at uh, the Hardy Compound for TNA. So I might watch that might oh. maybe yeah maybe <laughs> but until i think the royal rumble is next i guess until yeah at which point it, wrestle kingdom will be over yeah mm-hmm. so we'll have a late breakdown of that maybe but until then uh we'll see you later internet happy new year Bye. happy new year merry christmas happy hanukkah happy all other holidays i forgot about Bye.